All right, good morning, guys. Today we're uh, walking through Niseko, going over to the rental shop. We're gonna rent ourselves some snowshoes, hopefully go for a big hike up Mount Yote, which is uh, over yonder that way. Can't wait, should be a good day. Hopefully it's not too grueling of a hike. Bo's driving and TJ is navigating. Uh, nah, the phone's navigating. TJ's navigating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's a super beautiful morning today, so I don't think there's a, a better day to do a hike like this. We may not make it the whole way up the mountain, but we're going to try to at least get to the tree line. Uh, hopefully get some good forest runs on the way down. Super excited today. It's a beautiful day, bluebird conditions. So it's a great day to go for a hike, a great day to be touring in the backcountry. And uh, yeah, a really good crew today. We've got everybody except for uh, David Jones, who's taking a break just because it's been a full year since he's been back on the snow and he wants to make sure his knees stay uh, good for the rest of the trip. I actually haven't been snowshoeing in quite some time. It's probably been like 10 years since the last time I was snowshoeing, but it's a little bit more accessible than split boarding. Because there's a fairly set track here, we should be good just to snowshoe. It'll be a little bit easier than having to convert between ski mode and board mode on a split board. Today I am testing out a OFSR board, an offshore snowboard. Offshore snowboards are out of Japan. They're a board designed here in Japan and built here in Japan. So they should be very indicative to the terrain, very indicative to the kind of uh, stuff that we're going to be doing today. And this particular model is the Cabin Fever. Yeah, like I said, I've never tried an offshore shapes, but I'm really excited to try something that's specifically Japanese. This should be an awesome day. Directional board, huge front shovel on it, stunted tail. Yeah, let's hope I don't get a sunburn. I'm already like sweating. You can't see it guys, but Mount Yote is up in that cloud. I'm just taking this little bit of extra time to familiarize myself with snowshoeing again. You can trek through really deep snow with uh, a lot of ease, pretty quick, as you can see. All right. <sighs> so, we are uh, just at the start of the trailhead here. And as you can see, there's a fun little sign with a cartoon bird. If that cartoon bird could talk, what would he say, Bo? He'd say, strap up your boots, go on to the top. Nice. What are you eating there, Kevin? It's a 7-Eleven rice triangle, stuffed with soy sauce, some kind of sea kelp and a seaweed wrap. Nice. Yep. Don't table tell someone wearing a snow How we feeling, boys? Feeling good. Yeah, dog. Yahoo. I am exhausted and totally dehydrated. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. We're about halfway up through the tree line. I am absolutely exhausted. We went uh, to a Japanese hot tub last night and I think I just got super dehydrated in the process. Whew. Ooh, here goes somebody right now. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Oh man, I can't wait until that's me. I'm hiking with the with all the boys today, but a good little uh, piece of personal advice is, you know, don't push yourself too hard. If you're feeling exhausted, only go as much as you can go. So I've let everybody else break off from me and uh, I'm just taking it easy, one step at a time. I don't wanna overexert myself. It's a beautiful day and I just have to remember that, hey, I'm out hiking in the mountains and this is amazing, so. You know, there's no rush, no race to get up there. And at any given point, <laughs> I can call it quits and just still get an awesome run down because we still have been hiking for about an hour. 
You can see the mountain peak is all the way up there. And I doubt that I'll make it up there today. But we will still get a whole bunch of powder on the way down through these woods. So I'm super excited about it. I just wish I wasn't so dehydrated. Literally, I started hiking and I think every pore just started pouring sweat. I feel like I uh, sweat out like four liters instantaneously when we started this hike. So I took a bunch of my layers off. Uh, I'm running a little bit cold right now, just so that when I do get moving, I warm back up and I don't overheat. All right, guys, gonna keep moving. feels amazing to be up here and as we gain more and more altitude we get better and better views. It is absolutely tranquil up here as well. There's no other sounds, no other noises, nobody else out here. Absolutely beautiful, very serene. Oh man, what an experience. What an absolute beautiful day. I gotta admit guys, I am exhausted. I think I'm gonna to try to make it up to the uh, top of this cusp here and then ride down back to the car. Whew, I gotta say, hiking with these snowshoes is pretty handy. I think it's actually a little easier. Less stuff on your feet. It does suck to have to carry the uh, board on my back though. That's the only downside. All right guys, we made it up here. I am sweating buckets but we're sort of at the cusp of the tree line and that was my goal for the day to get about this high. Definitely did not make summit, did not make the peak, but this is still a personal best for myself. So pretty stoked to be up this far. Look at that view guys. Even if I wasn't snowboarding today, I think this hike would be still worth it. Oh man. All right guys, let's see how this offshore shapes board goes. I've never tried an offshores. They're a Japan specific company. They're made here in Japan and I'm really excited to give it a go and see how it performs. I, uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be awesome in the powder. It's a camber underfoot with a big rockered shovel in the front and like a notched out little tail in the back, but not a swallow tail, more just like a blunted notched out tail that's sort of like on the pencil, for example, by Karua Shapes. Absolutely fantastic view up here, guys. Couldn't have hoped for a better day. And now I get to reap the rewards of the hike by getting an awesome run down through the powder. Can't wait. All right, guys. I don't think I've ever been this exhausted before. Let's hope we can get some good turns, make for some good lines coming down Mount Yote. This is one of the most uh, extreme hikes I've ever been on. So definitely a first for me. And it's only my second day of riding in Japan. So <laughs> this was a lot to ask for, but uh, I think I did pretty well, all things considered. Just gonna take it easy. Don't wanna get lost and I wanna follow sort of the trail that I took up here so that I don't, uh, don't end up too far off one way or the other. If I can sort of stay near the trail that I climbed up, then I won't get lost and I'll end up back at the same, uh, the same path that we took up. <laughs>
hope I stayed on the right side of this ridge. <sighs> Alright guys, I've gotten myself into a bit of a tricky situation. I definitely did not follow the same path down the way that I came, and now I've ended up crossing a rather large field. So I'm kind of worried that uh, I might not get down to the same spot where the car is. I just checked Google Maps, and I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to head back down that way to a road, but I might be in for a bit of a hike. Um, this is definitely not good news, especially because uh, I'm in a country that I've never been to before, and I don't even speak the language. Not to mention that I'm the one with the car keys, and there's six other guys out on the hill that will be wondering where the heck I am. So, I gotta get moving, and uh, now this has turned into a bit of an emergency situation. I have to utilize all of this sunlight while I still can, and make sure I get the heck out of here. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn this off and try to make my way back down to a road. Oh, thank God, guys, crisis averted. I was just a little bit too far over to skiers right, but uh, I ended up following some tracks, found a trail from, I guess, uh, a ski tourer, and even though it was super hairy, I made it back out to the main trail. So thankful to be back down at the car. If I hadn't, I don't know what I would have done. Holy crap. The last thing that I want to do is have to get like rescued in Japan. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never been so happy to be at the bottom of the hill back at the car. <laughs> okay guys, my legs are full blown seizing. That's how tired they are. <sighs> I think I might take tomorrow off just out of appreciation for this situation. For like a good 20 minutes there, I thought I was screwed. Thank God the sun didn't go down on me. <sighs>